All right, so update on Jasmine Coin. Obviously, it looks like we're trying to bottom here at 3.8 cents. So I'm going to make a small support there, just telling myself that that looks like it's a major local low. I'm going to do it, you know, not a, a thick red line telling us it's a local low, but I'm not sure yet if it's going to hold a support. But it has held two or three different times, uh, but you keep testing the longer you test the support, just like the longer you test the resistance, the more likely you are to break it. Um, I did tell you a few days ago we broke out of the falling wedge, I believe it was, um, to the upside. Uh, we had a nice move up all the way up to 4.6 cents, and since then we've been making lower lows. So you can kind of see that right here. Let me move this and move that. And that's kind of the trend line that you are, you are in right now. So you really would like to break this to the upside. It looks like you just got rejected off that trend line right there because I was doing it to the wicks. So it looks like if you get above 4.1 cents or I know the 618 is up here at 423. If you get above the 618, then I would be really bullish. I think I have an alert at 42, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to set another alert at 42. Uh, because if you break 4-2, I would buy that as a breakout trade if, I have, uh, if I'm not in another trade, which right now I'm not in. I actually just got stopped out of uh, um, NCT, which, of course, right after that happened, it, it mooned. Um, but, yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. So with that being said, on Jasmine, if you're above 4-2, you're extremely bullish. Um, and to the downside, if 3-8 does not hold, where would the next support be? Well, you, that, that green line is was where it entered a trade, so that does, has no bearing on the price. Um, that was where the falling wedge broke out to the upside. So I would let me let me go to the four hour chart. It might be easier to see on a bigger time frame. Yeah. Okay. So to the downside, I do have the two three six fib at three point four five cents. So pretty much if. 3.8 cents doesn't hold. I expect it to come down there. Now, you do have a FIB at 3.76 where you got a wick off of, but I think if you don't hold, I'll say this. If you don't hold 3.76 cents, you're going to come down to 3.45 cents. And if you don't hold that, you're going to come down to this last local low that you had at 3 cents out even. And if you're below 3 cents, it's extremely bearish. Um, and then you'd be looking for way lower price targets than just 3 cents, which we'll talk about if we go that low. Um, but to get down to three cents would be a 25% move to the downside. If that happens, I'll make a video on it. I'm back from vacation, so I can start making videos more now. Um, but I don't expect us to, I mean, if you do lose 3.8, which I think is very possible based on what's happening, you keep making lower lows. I would say if you lose 3.8, the, the lowest you're going to go is 3.4. I don't see us going below 3.4 unless Bitcoin has a capitulation, which it had a nice rally. If you, Unless Bitcoin loses 42K, I don't see this losing uh, 4.4 cents on uh, Jasmine. So with that being, 3.4 cents, I should say. With that being said, that's all I got. If you guys enjoyed what you saw here, I appreciate if you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next update.